today we're going to do vlog only in manual. So this lens right here, this is a TT Artisan. It is a manual lens. We're doing Vlogmas number two. So everything today is going to be on a manual lens. And I'm trying to keep focus. And the TT Artisan is a really cool lens. It gives a really cool distorted fisheye look. And we are on a EVZ-10. That is an um, APS-C camera. Whew, so trying to focus with a manual lens before each shot is kind of like interesting But yeah, as you can see I'm usually going on my new treadmill where I'm basically going on a little walk Was really healthy. So let it comment down below if you think this is fine with the focus um, Obviously, there's a bunch of shots that I probably will miss I have the focus assist on and I basically see on my screen red outlines So it's kind of iffy so the one thing about the TT Artisan is it's very distorted. But as long as you're in the middle, it's kind of fine. Also, if you want to kind of highlight certain things, then it's fine too. But obviously, the manual focus, you always have to like basically focus directly on it. And you need a quick moment if you don't have like a LiDAR focus puller. And who has that? So this lens would be really amazing with autofocus and I'm just saying that because like if you do a vlog it is kind of fine if you hold everything in the same position but let's say you follow somebody going into a business and you you know they're announcing something then it's a really cool lens because it highlights like everything and yeah it's a cool lens but with autofocus it would be the perfect lens and there is an adapter that you could buy for this thing and then it's pretty much the, the most amazing lens in my eyes but I want to show you if you buy the PD movie live air smart that is basically like a little motor that has like autofocus here so this is what it looks like you kind of mount that to the camera and it can pull focus and there's like a little light thing here that will basically measure how far are you away and then it will adjust the focus manually and that's great and it's only 289 i'm saying only it's not really only everything with videography is super expensive but that would make this lens way more usable because like manual focus yes you can do this for a challenge or if you have a specific shot in mind but run and gun not so much so the one thing i really like about this lens is like if you shoot slow motion and you want to highlight an object it looks really cool let me show you As you could see that looks really cool and that lens is like super versatile so it's very creative um, but you cannot use it all the time because it's like too distorted to be usable and you have to obviously manual focus and that will slow you down and that basically makes it unusable for most client work because autofocus is really nice and the lines are not straight. What is it like a creative choice, but it's really cool. Um, I got that lens though, so I can make 360 photos. Like if you put this lens on a full frame camera, you can take four photos and you basically have a whole room scanned as a 3D image. And with PT GUI, you can stitch everything together and then you get a 360 image. And that allows like a lot of possibilities because like my idea was in the beginning, like I just film a video in that fisheye look and then I stitch it with a 360 photo and then I have basically a high quality 360 video you know with like just like four images and one video I, I played around with it it did turn out okay but obviously like stitching 360 footage um, it's very very complicated I made it kind of work but it's not there yet um, yeah with that being said I really dig this lens and if you're interested in a budget lens that is very, very interesting and unique, well, F2, 7.5 millimeter, comes with ND filters, has like um, a really nice metal lens hood, where even expensive lenses only have a plastic hood. It's, it's kind of crazy what you get for 150-ish or 130-ish, depending where you buy it. 
I think it's totally worth picking up and it works on the APS-C. Right now, everything is on the APS-C and on the full frame, you get a little bit more and it's even better because like then you can really stitch photos together. On the APS-C, you need more photos, by the way. I think you need like six or eight photos to stitch like 360 images out of an APS-C camera. But awesome lens, I highly recommend it. And yeah, I think this was another video number two for Vlogmas.